used to doing this usually Shane does this so um, I'm standing in um, we have several sixth graders moving up to the teens this year it's a very special time for us in Kings kids um, we get to see the children grow into young people who are excited to serve God um, right now I want them to uh, read some verses that have pertained to three themes that we like to try to instill in them before they move up to the teens. And we feel like these three things are key in their lives. Um, the first being character, second being commitment, and the third being courage. Um, those are three huge things other than, of course, them being saved by the grace of God, but three huge things that we pray that they will take with them as they leave us and go into the teens and more importantly, go out into the world. Um, so I want the boys to come and um, do their verses right fast. This is character, Romans 5, 3 through 5. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. And patience, experience, and experience, hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. In Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. This is commitment, Proverbs 16, 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Hebrews 11, 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Psalms 25, 4. Show me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths. Joshua 1, 9, Have not I committed thee, be strong, and, a, and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed for the Lord they God is with thee, whosoever thou goest. Second Timothy 1, 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. John 16, 33. The, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace in the world, ye shall have tri tribulated, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Amen. 
I would like to first thank God for the opportunity he has given Shane and I to serve in King's Kids. We've been doing it. How old are you, Noah? Um, how old are you? 11. You're 11. So we've been doing it now for 10 years. I always remember that because the day that Noah was born is when we first visited the church. And about a year after that, we started the King's Kids program. Um, so I always have to ask Noah when we... <laughs> When, how, many, how many years have I been here? Um, so the, um, I would like to thank the preacher, the church, and the parents for trusting us, for trusting all of the leaders to have a part, a huge part in your child's life, um, to give them the word of God, to instill in them the foundations and the principles that we all as Christian parents and leaders and want our kids to come up with in this crazy world that we're in. Um, our classes are broken down into the following age, age groups, four, five, and six-year-olds, and, and that class is taught by Miss Kathy, Miss Cheryl, and Miss Donna. If you guys will come up. If you can. They're awesome. They do a wonderful, wonderful job with that age group. They hold their attention. They have these awesome stories, and it makes it bigger. It makes the Bible come to life. It's bigger than life sometimes. So it's really cool to just walk in and see some of their lessons that goes on. So thank them so much. Have just a little something, and the cuts have character, commitment, and courage to remember our our year this year for King's Kids and of course candy. Candy is candy goes with everything. So <laughs> thank y'all so much. And the second group are the first, second, and third graders and they are taught by Miss Judy and Mr. Sam Barr. And they just recently um, it's been how many months now? Two? Three? Perfect. Okay, two or, two or three months um, that they have been with us, that they um, came to us and asked if they could participate. And um, they have such, a, such an excitement for God's Word. It's really cool to watch their class. They basically do a junior church all in one. It's pretty amazing. They have puppets, they have singing, they have um, invitation. It's pretty awesome to watch that too. And all of that in about 15, 20 minutes is what we have time for for a, a um, class. We have three rotations in King's Kids. We have class, snack, and games. And all of those happen as you guys are in here. So we have to either try to hold it down to 815 or extend it out to <laughs> the, <laughs> oh no, we're good. We have fun. Um, we play games. We extend it. The kids love it when we go over. The leaders might be back there pulling our hair out, but the kids are loving it. So um, if Miss Judy and uh, Mr. Sam could come up, please. The uh, third class is taught, we split the third class up. It's the fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. This is a very important integral class of the King's Kids because we're trying to prepare this age group to move up to the teens and to try to instill in them what the teenagers kind of are expected to do. So they get a little bit of it from fourth and fifth, and then sixth grade we try to really... Um, you know, get it in there so that they can be prepared for what they're getting ready to go into in the teen program. Um, so we split them up. It's a girls class and that is taught by Miss Taylor Bennett and she's phenomenal and the girls love her. If you can come up please. And then the boys class for fourth, fifth, and sixth grade is taught by my husband, Shane, who unfortunately is out of town for business. So um, he couldn't be here, but I know he didn't want to miss it for the world and he loves all the kids. Um, so let's see. We also have the other leaders that help in, they help in signing in, snack, correspondence, anything that I have that I need to be printed off, to be copied, um, games, filling in for games. If the leader didn't show up, then I have to go out and get one of these ladies to 
put on their gym shoes and help me run <laughs> some kids around. Um, so they kind of are on the fly with me. Um, those ladies are Debbie Edwards. And if you guys will come up, please, wherever you are hiding. Debbie Edwards, Kimberly Wiles, Jeannie Wagner, and Christy White. Thank y'all so much. In King's Kids, we have a point system that the students can earn points to see who in each class earn the most points based on the children's attendance. This is important, parents, just in case you don't know this. This is what the points are for. Um, the attendance, bringing their Bible, learning, memorizing Bible verses, and bringing visitors. So all of those things can get them points. And then at the end of the year, we do something, and we've kind of played with it over the years, um, something that was really successful in the past that we changed for whatever reason, I don't remember why. But um, we're going back to this year is to award the top four uh, um, $15 gift certificate to Toys R Us. The, um, the children who won that, and Forgive me, please. I'm trying to remember um, because my other sheet I might have given to somebody else that had all my names written down. Um, Drew Wiles, if you'll come up. Drew Wiles, give him a big hand. This was for learning verses, coming, being faithful, bringing his Bible. I'm not sure if he brought a visitor, but if he did, bringing visitors. So um, it kind of includes all that stuff. Thank you so much. Okay, Bentley Jackson. Ah, there you are. There you go, bud. Thank you so much. And Brittany Williams. And Noah Hatcher. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good job. All right, the next thing I want to recognize, if I want everybody who is a rising seventh grader to raise your hand, just raise your hand high so we can see you. It's Renee, Erica, Samantha, Holly, Noah, Andrew, and Jeremiah. So y'all get ready, teens. This is your group that's moving up. So give them a big round. They're graduating King's Kids tonight. One more thing. The summer program, this is the end of the regular season, King's Kids. This is kind of the time I get to educate you guys if you're new to everything going on. So we have a regular season, King's Kids, which, which usually ends at the end of um, school year. So this is our last night tonight. The summer King's Kids program will begin next Wednesday night. So there's no laps. Everybody still goes over to the gym. Tiffany meeting in the gym, meeting in the gym um, next Wednesday for Summer King's Kids, but that starts a whole new program for King's Kids, and it's um, a little funner. I think they're learning a lot about the different church responsibilities this year in King's Kids Summer Program, so it's going to be phenomenal. So I encourage you, if you know of anybody who is looking for a church, um, we have a phenomenal youth program. Um, it's, it's amazing, and everybody truly, truly cares about the kids like they're their own. So um, just a little plug for that one. Um, we, we also would like to recognize all of the children in our program for the faithfulness to the King's Kids program. So through the year, all of these kids have been here, I mean, probably at least 80% of the time, at least, if not probably a higher percentage than that. All of the ones that you see up here right now. Um, and for that, we are very grateful. Of course, without them, we don't have a program. And also, as they grow, we get to see them grow. And as they grow, they bring other friends in. So that also grows our church, which is huge in our community. Um, our church should be the foundation for our community and the outreach. So we pray that they love King's Kids and that they'll go out and tell all of their friends about King's Kids and bring some more 
little ones in. Um, so I'm going to ask the teachers, if you'll come up, I'm going to give you the candy. They get a bag of candy and a um, $5 gift card to Toys R Us. So for being faithful this year, they get some candy, of course, and um, a $5 gift card. And parents, I'm sorry, I keep saying Toys R Us. That's where I did it last time. I actually did it to Walmart just because I'm a mom and I never get over to Toys R Us anymore. So I did Walmart. So to make it easy. <laughs> All right. That is for... That's for you. And it's already got a hole kind of ripped open. So if you just want to give them a... Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to keep them? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. And now we are going to release, once they get their gift card and their candy, they're going to um, be released to their parents. And I believe Brother Jason is going to continue service. So they're going to come down and sit with you guys for the remainder of the night and enjoy the service with us. Thank y'all. Amen.